Are you ready for the big reveal? Last week, we introduced you to the Stunzy team in St. Petersburg, Florida. They are vehicle modification experts. And this week, they are upgrading the Winery Local Airstream for our next series of adventures with Baby Dash. Not only are they removing all the old graphics and updating the design, but they're also adding a unique heat blocking tint to our windows to make it easier to regulate the temperature in the Airstream. But before we dive into all of that, John, the owner of Stunzied, has something really cool to show you. We briefly touched on that Ceramic Pro stuff before. I'm gonna to try to give you a little bit of a visual and a little bit of a demonstration, and maybe it'll clear some of the things up. This pretty much can clearly represent what's happening really, really, really microscopically close at paint. We've got these little pores. What I would like you to do now is kind of sort of transpose this to like maybe a screen door and you've got a screen that's in front of it and it's gonna represent these pores. What's going on and what you've been told is that ceramics are hard and that they cause something called hydrophobic uh, results, which means the water's gonna just beat up and run right off, kind of like you wax the car with like 15, 20 coats of wax and it's just gonna stay there. Well, that's good, that's utopia, that's how it's supposed to work. Nothing stays clean no matter how hard that surface is. But Let's assume for right now that we've either got our screen or we've got this piece, either which way that you would like to visualize, and you have this fluid. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to get this fluid in every one of these pores and you want to get it up just to the surface of the top of that paint. That's what you want to try to do. So as you put this material on, you're rubbing it and making sure it doesn't flash dry higher than that surface or below the surface. You want to get everything all nice and smooth so it stays all nice and shiny. Reflections happen by bouncing off light and if you see these little ridges and stuff like that, it's not a smooth reflection. You get all these little spider webs and all these little deflections that happen. So go back to that screen. You can't see these holes. So as you put on your first application, you're going to fill up a lot of holes in the screen with this stuff. But not everyone. You're going to miss some. You're not even going to see what there is. So some of these formulations, right, we have more layers. So obviously when you put like more layers of stuff on it, on, on like, uh, I don't know, a piece of paper, pie crust, it gets all splotchy and gloopy. But it doesn't happen that way, like for example, in tile. So you put more layers on and you swipe off that surface and you can only fill up as much grout as will fit in that hole. And that's basically what's happening when we start packing it on these products but there's something else that goes on. Suppose that the product we can put in between the top coat layer and this paint itself, a product that would help both the top coat last longer and bond to the surface harder, stronger. These molecules are supposed to fit in between the molecules of the paint or in between the molecules of the paint. And just like the, the top coat surface, I'm going to kind of sort of miss some of these holes as I go around. More and more of the coating gets on this, more and more of that surface gets filled up with these little glass particles. So now not only is the surface of the paint slippery, but it's hard. And now we can understand how it might stop rock chips and light scratches. So what we have on our board over here, so I just have a water bottle and I'm going to just spray it on the line and you can see that, yeah, they're both running, but look at how many more drops and stuff is happening on the coated side. So the water kind of sticks on the, un, on the non coated surface. And you know what that means? That means that the water trapped whatever dirt and debris it's got where it landed and right there it's going to stay and you're going to get water beads and watermarks that are really difficult to get out. As this stuff runs down your hood or surfaces, much less sticky, much less stuff that's up there, so much less water beading to clean off, and because it's much slipperier, it doesn't penetrate the surface quite as deep. It's much easier to get off. So if this took you two hours to clean, this will take you about five minutes. That's pretty significant savings. That's more off-roading if you've got a truck, that's more driving if you've got a car, that's more weekend shopping if that's what you do. 
a lot of things, a lot of ways to improve your leisure time just with this silly little product. So right now I'm outside with our uh, 2020 Infinity Q60 Red Sport. It has no PPF on it. So there's no plaque, you know, yes, we work at this store, but it's got no clear bra on it to protect its paint and surfaces. We have approximately 7,000 miles on this vehicle, of which I'd say about 3,000 of those miles are interstate travel. It's been to West Virginia from here, and it's been to New York from here. You know, so if you look around, you won't see spider webs, small little light scratches, the road debris is kind of nice and even when I get hit really hard it doesn't leave marks that I'm ashamed to show the car off. There's rock chips, not really. Paint chips, not really. And that's all because, you know, in order for the rock to chip it's got to grab onto something. And if it's slippery like motor oil does protect your engine, if it's slippery it bounces right off not the best in the whole wide world to show you but it's got sport brakes and I know everybody worries about their brakes and how hard it is to clean so I just need to take my fingers and go like so and there's all of that dirt so I imagine how much scrubbing it takes you to get that off so I'm gonna take that the shape that you sent me okay. um, and then I'm basically just gonna put it in and like contour cut it and then cut it out of the sheets of gray. on the last minute of getting this done because tomorrow we are supposed to be picking up the Airstream and hitting the road for our three week trip to Maine. Whether or not they're gonna have it done at this point is really in question. So we're keeping our fingers crossed as they have really gone above and beyond so we can get that fantastic tent put in place and see if we can regulate the temperature more inside of the Airstream for Baby Dash and for us too. Because when it's really hot in the Airstream, RV life, not quite as fun. So, fingers crossed, 24 hours from now, we will be picking up the Airstream and hitting the road. This is a very exciting day today. Absolutely incredible. It's one thing to have an idea in your mind and then dream up something like Laura and I did with this design, but we gave these guys a Sunseed an impossible deadline. And you not only delivered on the graphics, which was already a crazy deadline, but you also delivered on the windows. Crazy tint. Crazy tint. Crazy tint. Which is gonna cut down on all of the heat 
coming in through the outside or from the outside. You go in and take a field. Which makes these things like a hot box inside. That's gonna be a huge, huge, huge game changer. So really excited about the tint and the graphics. I don't know which one I'm more excited about. The darker windows also gives it kind of like a sexier look too. So if you're curious on how it's gonna be on the inside, again, make sure to subscribe. If you are in need of this done to your vehicle, which I think is something that we neglected to cover in this video, your tow vehicle is just as important. Or if you need some really cool graphics and you have a crazy idea and you're wondering how to bring it to life, talk to us. John here at Stunzi can make it happen. But today is not only a big day because of how cool our Airstream now looks, it's our very first travel day with Baby Dash and it's time to hit the road. So if you haven't already, make sure you wander local this week because as you know, it's good for the soul.